Hi, Adam from Buzzy here. I thought I'd give you a quick demonstration of how easy it is to turn a Figma design into a working native application or site directly from Figma, no code, using the Buzzy plugin. This is the site that we're going to create. It's a very simple, responsive uh, food application. Um, you can go into uh, your drinks, um, you can get your food, you can go and do things like you can review them, um, have a look at a recipe, um, and review them and so on. Let's see how that was created. So this is our Figma file. By the way, this is one of our sample templates, so you can create this yourself if you, if you want to give it a go. Um, we've got our different menu screens, we've got our navigation, we've got the detail screens, and so on. Using the uh, Buzzy plugin, what, this, what we can do is we can actually define our screens, our forms, our layouts, and then publish that to a working application. So if you're starting from scratch, we'll try and work out based on the frames and screens and navigation, your prototyping in Figma of how that all works, but you can also mark that up really easily. So over here, we've got our screens defined. Um, so we might have like a, our um, review list. Um, let's have a look at that. Um, we might have our recipe screens. And then if you go down, you can start to define things like the forms and views and your fields. So for example, this is a rich text field that is used for the recipe information. If we look over here, we've got our reviews. This is our form. This is a, a data capture form that's going to take in the star rating and some text. Um, we've also got the data definitions. Think of these as the data table. So this is where you define your fields and what they are. So whether they're rich text or plain text or numbers and, and so on. And then we've got, for example, we've got the review. So you can have relationships between data. So you might have a recipe which then has a child of a review and so on. Um, one of the things you can do uh, with your data as well is you can also define an external source where you want to uh, be able to get that from. I'll, I'll, we'll have a look at that in a sec. So um, what I'll do is I'll create a um, new Buzzy application here and I'll just give this a timestamp. So we'll give this a timestamp of 408 and we'll create a new um, Buzzy application. So the plugin is now looking at what was marked up and the structure of that Figma file turning it into an application definition, which then can be rendered as either a responsive site or as a native app. Now, native app, we actually use React Native under the covers. You don't have to do any coding. We take care of that for you. So here's that app. We'll click on that link. Um, we'll open it up. That's the one that we, we just created, which was a new one. Um, so this is a new application. We can now go into a recipe and we can give it a review. So we'll give it four st stars over here. So we'll go yummo. That's great. And we'll submit that. So that's actually submitted into the backend database and you didn't have to code anything. That's all constructed in the Buzzy platform. There's effectively, there is a headless CMS as well. So we actually generate that link for you. You can have a look at that data. You don't have to do this. It's just to give you an idea of what's happening behind the covers. Um, we can see all the data that was pulled in uh, from that REST API, and I think we're using Google Sheets. I'll show you that in a, in a minute. And then we can see our reviews. So again, this is the structure of the data in the back end. You get a headless CMS. You can go and edit it in here if you want to, but you can also create the front end to be able to edit that content from your Figma file as well. So it's a full end-to-end -end solution. Um, let's have a look back at how that data was. So if we have a look at the data definition and we look at the data imports, we can see that these are coming from REST API calls. Um, and you can import things like Google Sheets or go to backend APIs and transform that data. So there's a full ETL uh, export, export transform and load language that you can use to be able to um, extract data from external systems. So that's it. Pretty cool, pretty easy to be able to create working applications you can actually put in the hands of your users and get real feedback. Thanks for watching.